Hi students, my name is Izzy. I'm from the NY Ada chapter of Pi Phi. Uh, today I'll be reading My Teacher's Secret Life. I thought this would be a really special book to read because I know with online classes you might be seeing your teachers in different rooms than you usually would. And this book is all about the things that this student thinks his teacher does at the end of the day. And some of them are a little silly. So let's see. My Teacher's Secret Life by Stephen Krensky. I know everything about my new teacher, Mrs. Quirk. Her first name is Isabel. She bites her lip when she's thinking hard and she has eyes in the back of her head in case we try anything funny. Look at this. Has your teacher ever said that to you? Once a week, Mrs. Quirk takes us to Miss Painter's art room. It's the only place in the school where we can make a mess on purpose. When Mrs. Quirk comes back, she doesn't always recognize us. Oh my goodness, look at the mess the students have made. All these crazy masks. Every day at three o'clock, Mrs. Quirk says goodbye to us. She doesn't have to leave though, because she lives at the school with all the other teachers. All the teachers saying goodbye. I can imagine what happens after we've gone. First, Mr. Crumble, the custodian, leads a trash patrol through the halls. Litter, he says, is no one's friend. And they're all cleaning up. Then, the gym teacher, Miss Whistle, makes everyone do exercises. Mrs. Quirk stands in the back because she has trouble touching her toes. So there's Miss Whistle with her whistle. And Mrs. Quirk all the way in the back. She can't even touch her toes. After that, running around makes the teachers hungry. The cafeteria staff cooks their meals, putting together, putting stuff together from the lunchtime leftovers. Potato puff soup and macaroni bread shows up a lot. While the teachers eat, Mr. Stern, the principal, watches closely to make sure everyone behaves. Look at this beautiful meal they're having. Oh my goodness, and this big cake. And that's the principal making sure everyone's behaving. After dinner, the librarian, Mr. Perus, reads stories aloud. Miss Painter covers her eyes during the scary parts. Nothing frightens Mrs. Quirk, but she makes faces if the story is too mushy. So I'll listen to stories and Miss Painter's a little scared. Later, all the teachers return to their rooms. They all keep pajamas and inflatable mattresses in their bottom left desk drawer, the one that locks with a key. Sometimes the teachers have pillow fights in the hall. Mrs. Quirk swings her pillow like a baseball bat. The flying feathers usually make her sneeze. Oh my goodness, look at that pillow fight. Do you think your teachers do this at the end of the day? At bedtime, Mrs. Quirk washes her face, brushes her teeth, and sings a lullaby to our fish. Sometimes she makes shadow animals in the moonlight before she falls asleep. This is her nighttime routine. And this is their classroom pet, but that means that it's also her house pet because she lives there. Lately though, I've been wondering if I know Mrs. Quirk so well after all. One Saturday, I saw her in the supermarket filling up her cart. I wondered what she was doing. There's always plenty of food left in the cafeteria. Then last Tuesday, I saw Mrs. Quirk again, trying on skates at the mall. She didn't look like a teacher one bit. I don't know what she did with the skates. She never wears them in class or at recess. Maybe she races, races down the hall late at night. So there she is in her roller skates. And there she is racing down the halls late at night. Hmm. Yesterday was my biggest surprise yet. I saw Mrs. Quirk in the park with a strange man and a girl. The girl looked like Mrs. Quirk, only younger. The strange man even put his arm around Mrs. Quirk. She didn't seem to mind. So this little girl looks like Mrs. Quirk. And this man put his arm around her. Who do you think they are? Hmm. I've been watching Mrs. Quirk extra carefully ever since. And look, he even has a detective outfit on. In class, she acts just the same. She still knows who pushed first 
and who tracked in all the mud from the playground, and she still bites her lip while she's thinking. Mrs. Quirk must figure out, must figure she has everyone fooled, but not me, even though he's the one who tracked the mud in. I know Mrs. Quirk has a secret life. I just want to wonder when the other teachers will get suspicious. So in the end, he thinks her secret life is the one at home, not the one at school. The end. So I think that's a really funny book because maybe you guys have a better guess. I think maybe the people he saw in the park were her husband and her kid, but maybe, maybe I'm just guessing. All right. Good job. Have a good one.